So, what is a typical day in the life of an entertainment lawyer? Well, I spend a lot of my day doing a lot of reading and a lot of writing. Most of my day consists of contract review, contract drafting, contract negotiation, or a combination of all three. When I'm reviewing a contract, it's an agreement that has already been prepared. An artist will bring it to me, typically from the other party, um, and I'm reviewing it to make sure that what's contained in the document meets the client's expectations following their conversation with the other side, make sure that it meets the industry standards, and make sure that there's nothing in there that's gonna prevent them from releasing the project or going on tour, or basically sharing their work and making a living. When I'm drafting an agreement, I'm writing out the sentences or clauses that outline the rights, roles, and limitations of each party's detailing what it is that's even bringing us to the table in the first place, and of course, outlining who, what, and when folks get paid. Now, in contracts drafting and in reviewing and negotiating as well, it's very, very detail-oriented. There is a difference between can, may, and shall, and it's important for all of these things to be clearly outlined in the agreement. That's part of the lawyer's job. If I am drafting an agreement, you know, a blank page can be very intimidating. Luckily, we have what's called precedents, which are agreements that have been used previously. And when the terms are some, somewhat similar, we're able to pull from some of those precedents or previous agreements and tailor them to suit the needs of the client in that particular situation. That brings us to contract negotiation. Negotiating a contract is essentially a conversation that I will have with the lawyer representing the other artist or producer or whatever party is on the other side, where we go through each of the deal points in the contract and try to arrive at an agreement that satisfies both of the parties. Now, this doesn't quite happen like you see on TV, where people picking up the phone and slamming it down and yelling, show me the money, although sometimes, uh, but, you know, it is very fast paced, it is very intense, um, and it is very detail oriented. So it's important to be prepared going into these emails, going into these conversations, to make sure that you have very clear instructions from your client um, and that you're able to negotiate and keep your client's best interests in mind. Now, the contracts that I, whether I draft them or review them or negotiate them, they range in length from three pages to 30 pages um, or even longer. Um, and so it's important to make sure that you have enough time to go through the agreement with a fine tooth comb and make sure that your client's interests are protected. So what happens if you don't? Well, you could potentially be putting your client at risk of not making as much money as they're owed or you could be limiting their ability to release a project or go on tour, or you could potentially be putting them in breach of an agreement that they have with a different party. So it is very important to be detailed oriented, to take your time and to keep very detailed notes of your client's instructions, of the negotiations that you've had with the other party, lawyer, um, and these are all for your client's protection and of course, for yours as a lawyer too.